Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist, Baird Benson. We're seeing cool air continue to move into the region as we're seeing this northwesterly flow. This is going to be the case before we start seeing a southwesterly flow moving into the Four Corners region for increasing temperatures starting out really on Friday, getting us out of those 60s into the 70s before even the 80s to start the work week out. But we're starting off this morning below freezing. We've dropped a couple degrees below that freezing threshold temperature. There's two things I've learned about the valley is one, you grab a, a jar of dirt and you bring it with you, otherwise you'll end up right back here. And two, late freezes until that swan's neck breaks up on the mesa. And, well, that swan's still sitting up there, sitting pretty, and temperatures are reflecting at 30 degrees right now in the month of May, seeing a little bit of a late freeze. So as we see this sunrise, we're going to get out of this pretty quickly, hopefully within the next hour. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s, mostly below freezing this morning. That's why we're seeing freeze warnings up until 10 a.m. here on the Western Slope Valleys. We will be seeing cooler temperatures with this northwesterly flow as we're seeing this low pressure kind of centered over to the east of us. We're seeing that cooler side of things with cooler air on the way. We'll see that today with those highs mostly being the 50s, 61 in Grand Junction tonight. Temperatures not really as close to freezing as what we were last night, but temperatures still quite chilly in the overnight hours in the 30s. And then tomorrow in the upper 60s, approaching highs into the 70s by Friday. Top wind gusts mostly below 10 miles an hour. Winds today are going to be a lot more calm than what we've seen the past few days, mostly just zero values for that wind. A break from not only the wind, but hopefully your allergies. Trees still the same concern for that pollen outlook this week. Moisture tracking in as well. We'll see this for some cloud coverage as we get into the afternoon today and then tomorrow. And then we're going to start watching out for those chances for showers getting into tomorrow in the evening hours as we track this on out. Most of this will be uh, just for some light precipitation with cloud coverage in northern Colorado. And <laughs> my allergies are really on the increase from all the wind we've seen the past couple of days. So uh, hopefully with that wind decreasing today, uh, we'll get a break from that. Bless me, by the way, Western Slope. We're going to be seeing some scattered showers throughout northwestern Colorado today. Don't expect this moisture to really reach here on the Western Slope. Most of this will be in northern Colorado before we start seeing chances for showers getting into the later evening hours for tomorrow, increasing to a 50% chance on Friday. We're looking clear, though in the Grand Valley as well as the Incompagre Valley this morning as we're waking up and taking a look ahead, mostly just some cloud coverage for today with some warmer temperatures on the way as we get into the rest of the week. Back in the 70s on Friday, but chances for showers for that Discovery Auto 7-day forecast and then 80s to start your work week out next week. Montrose, slightly cooler, raining in the mid-50s before the 60s, and then even 70s to start your work week next week.